Oh, I see somebody. I haven't found you yet. There you are. I have to are. refresh. Uh, I see you now. Hi, guys. Uh, the coolness of the floor feels good on my feet. Uh-huh. I have circles under my eyeballs. <laughs> Nobody's saying anything, so I don't know. Well, I see you, but I see Laura Vimos was in the chat. Cindy Warman was in the chat. And Casey ATX. Oh, Casey said they see me. Hi. <laughs> Jane Newman. <coughs> Teresa Bryant. Lori. No, new house. New house. Isn't she one of the New ones house. we were waiting for the payment from? Yes. Miss Jane, you have to, I don't know if you've checked. I've sent reminders and stuff, but. If um, got her email yeah, if I right. got the email right. Last time I missed one letter. So make sure you check and see if you got anything from me from last week. Hi, guys. Hello. I'm not in the garage today. I wasn't about to try and mess with that. Oh. Hi. Oh, they said hi, Alex's mom. Oh, hello. <laughs> How am I feeling today? Well, I still have the same headache. And if any one of you have ever gotten like whiplash, that's like how I feel. That's how my neck feels. <sighs> and my head. <laughs> so I didn't get an email. Uh, email you again. Okay. I see people. Is it? What time is it? It is. One o'clock straight One o'clock. Oh my God. I look so tired. And I am ridiculously tired. Live video. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and say the, the rules, how to play the game. Um, you guys, if you see something you like, you will say the number in the chat. Like you type, oh, thank you. You type in the the number of the item that you want and then after the video we you'll email me chapter two vintage at gmail.com and you um give me your address YouTube. give me your youtube name because all those little names are usually different um and the items that you purchase and i'll match them up with the items that we have for you um because some people forget what they've gotten so um and i it'll it'll t take me a little bit to like get everybody's invoices to them so don't be scared if you haven't heard from me or anything um also i usually like the payment within like 48 hours so um i'm just waiting on a few oh thank you mom <laughs> a few people um to pay from last week and i think one have this person email you again oh okay so if it's the, from two weeks ago is it from it's two sales ago the person that won this i think there was something i don't know what the problem was but if you're here email me please again again <laughs> because i've lost my mind this week and i just i don't know so just email me again okay so um i think i was going to say something else before you showed me that and i don't know now Oh, and I had one person that never even emailed me at all. Um, Sue. Sue Gillespie or something Golumbesky. like that. Golumbesky. Golumbesky or something. Golumbes, Golumbesky. Um, so I'm just throwing it out there. If, like, I don't get an email, like, you guys claim something and I don't get an email or anything like that. Or you guys, you just, you go on a list of people that can't play anymore. You can't shop with me anymore. So... Because, you know, I don't somebody have time for that. Because somebody, yeah, somebody else may have wanted it. I don't have time for that. So, anyways, we'll just get started. We have all kinds of stuff today. 
Yes, Side Street Market first went through. Side Street, yeah. Um, that was the e-check we were waiting yes. for. That one just cleared last night, and it's out for the mail. Um, Laura, no, you don't. You don't. Um, it's out for the mail today. Oh, the eucalyptus and rosemary peppermint. It's supposed to help with headaches. Oh. Um, oh, Gabriel is playing a video game. He's being loud. Um, no, I didn't go to the doctor. It's actually kind of hard to get a doctor's appointment right now with COVID. So that and, you know, working for yourself, it's uh, health insurance is kind of hard to come by. So you have to pay out of pocket, <laughs> which is, you know, expensive. But that is another video. So let's get started. All right, um, let's see. This is a find from my mom. Her and Jenna went shopping. Hi, Misty. I've been so out of touch with everything. You guys will have to forgive me the past couple of weeks. I've just had so much like family crap go on that I can't even like, like talk about here. So just know that like, I haven't forgotten about you guys. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back in the swing of things, but I can't, <laughs> everything makes me cry. Okay. Back to the Coca-Cola tent. <laughs> so, um, my mom and my sister picked this up, um, at one of their, my mom's over there like, don't, <laughs> she said it to me earlier, like, you're going to mess up your makeup. Stop. <laughs> Every five seconds. I'm like, I want to cry. <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, yeah, so they picked this up and it's from, it's from 1992 or three, 1993. So it is vintage, but it has the vintage, um, like 1950s images and stuff on it. It's in really good shape. It is $8 and it's number 40. Almost forgot how to do that. <laughs> $8 and it's number 40. Now I need that box. Go over here. Oh, got it. Okay. Next item I have. This is another find from my mom and my sister. Um, she, well, we both like birds. So her and, oops, got to cover the thing. Her and Jenna picked up the little Avon, um, it was leather aftershave. Oh, it's a pheasant. What did I say? I said bird. Okay, I'm good. So a pheasant bird decanter. It's in really good shape. Usually they're, you know, paint and stuff is flaking off, but he's cool. If you collect birds or if you collect Avon stuff, he is $8 and he's number 35 for the cool bird. Oh, too bad I can't do those auctions oh I don't see anything on those anyway mom was in the wrong chat oh thank you life can suck hard <laughs> oh, well we got to go through it right kitty what are you doing you're getting in my box. Okay, the next item I have. I wasn't wanting to sell this. Oh, Misty. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't make me cry on camera. <laughs> Don't make me do it. <sighs> uh, okay, so I wasn't, I didn't want to sell this, but I'm going to anyway. Um, it's signed R. Miller, and it says 24, like 1924. But it's this little hand-painted floral it's like a little trinket tray oh thank you <laughs> thank you um it's twelve dollars for this tray and it is hi michael it is um like almost a hundred years old so that's part of the reason why i didn't want to get rid of it but it's twelve dollars and it's number 43 and it's signed right down there watch out kitty witty Helen Casey. Helen Casey, you get number 43. Is there a cat in the box? Yes, there's a cat in the box. 
All right, next thing I have, these are as well about 100 years old. They are signed Vienna, Austria, and it's LS and S um, Carlsbad, Austria. So the LS and S is an old, um, I have my ring light, so it's a little bright. Oh, it's an older stamp, this one. So you get all of these. They're little, I think maybe little butter pats. I don't think it's like an open salt or anything like that. But you get all of these for 15. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them. So they're all in good shape. There's no chips or cracks. And actually the gold is really nice on here. So there, it's $15 and it's number 42. Yeah, I thought it was too big to be salts. Oh, thank you, Misty. Patricia. Or not. Who? Gesner. Patricia Gesner. You're new to me, Patricia. At the beginning, if you didn't see, I explained how to play the game if you don't know. So you could go back after the video and see how to um, like pay and stuff. And just be mindful. Remember, you guys, I'm in Florida. You know if you're if you live far all right the next thing I have is this weird cat that my mom likes um he is not weird yeah he is <laughs> his name is Chiquita actually he's from 2001 he's Cory Critters I, I think <laughs> Patricia says this is her first time oh is it oh okay cool um I don't know if Missy, you want to type that in there real quick, what you normally do. Um, or afterwards, you can go to the very beginning, the first like five minutes, I ex kind of explain how to do it. Um, but anyways, this is from 2001, Second Nature Design, Quarry Critters. It is in great shape. There's nothing the matter with it. It is $12 and it's number four. My mom loves his face. It's great. Lori Potter. So did the the lady, the cashier. She liked him really a lot too. Really a lot. That didn't make sense. Excuse me. Lori Potter. You got um, number four for $12. I love that face. Like, oh crap, you caught me. <laughs> I don't He just looks like one of those hairless cats. And that's kind of crazy. He is not hairless. <laughs> that's the same with this dog. He reminds me of like a hairless cat, but it's a dog. <laughs> um, what is this? What, what was this hound dog you he thought? He looks like a hound dog to me. So this is a ceramic piece. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Um, and it's uh, made in Japan. It has a sticker on it. So it's not like, it does have some crazing. I will say that. So it's it looks like it was maybe someone's craft project, but it's not. It was made in Japan and, you know, painted over there and stuff. But... Um, there's no chips or cracks, but there is crazing, and I think his nose is just sloppily painted. I don't think it's, like, missing the paint, but he is $9, and he's number 23, and he's, like, a big figurine. He'd even look cute if you put him, like, uh, like, on the porch. I put these kinds of figurines, um, with my planters and stuff. I mix them in. Jane Newhouse. Jane Newhouse. Oh, my neck. Um, you get number 23 for $9. Virginia, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you. <sighs> All right. I have a couple of things for St. Patrick's Day. Normally, we don't find things for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, did Thrift You pop on? Hi, Thrift You. Um, okay, the first one I have is this guy. He's made out of some kind, um, hey, Miss Mermaid. Oh, no, she ain't talking to me. I'm like, yeah, I want to be a mermaid. <laughs> um, he's made out of some kind of, like, hard plastic, but he's got such a cute little face. He is $10 for him, and he's number 46. But he's really cool. Debbie Gray. Debbie Gray. Yeah, he's like a really hard plastic. Debbie Gray, you won number 46 
for $10. I'm kidding. What are you doing in there? Why are you in the box? What is sent on this computer? Enter. Where is enter? I see return, shift, shift. Uh, try it. Let me see. Return? Yeah, try and hit that. Okay, uh, return. She's trying to type into the chat <laughs> for me. Oh, look at that. There's a crown next to my name. I, I can see it on my oh, end. Yeah, I'll see it over here. <laughs> Okay, the next item I have, I've never seen these before. They're called Calendar Kids. It's from 1989, and he's like a bisque ceramic, and it says March right here. There's no chips or cracks or anything. His paint is good. Yeah, it just says Calendar Kids. Brins by, by Brins. And this guy here, he's not as old as the other one, but... He's $8 and it's number 44 for this March guy. Yeah, he does look like Buddy the Elf. I love that Christmas movie. Susan McLean. Suzanne McLean. Oh, Suzanne McLean, right? Is that what you said? Yep. Um, you get Buddy the Elf <laughs> for um, $8. Okay. Now I have a couple of these and you should be so lucky to win one because I love these. <laughs> I don't want to let these go either. So this guy and most of the time these, because they were a child's toy, their paint is kind of, you know, worse yeah. for wear. <laughs> They're well loved. Well loved. <laughs> so here's a little frozen Charlotte doll. He's a little, oh, okay. He's a little, um, oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, he's a little like bellhop, you know? Uh, he's so cute. So he's got, you know, they're cold painted, so their paint was on the outside, you know, and then kids played with them and stuff like that. So that's his condition right there. And they're usually made in Japan. Yeah, it says Japan on his back. He is... Ten dollars, and he's number twenty-eight. He would be cool in a Halloween. <sighs> Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean. What number was he? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Apparently, there's some trolling going on, so you'll yeah, want to watch. I just deleted oh, okay. Hide user on this channel. Yeah, and you can put him in timeout. Usually, you're over there watching. Jenna's watching Misty and I, and a couple other people. But um, I don't think I have too many wrenches yeah. watching right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like I haven't seen much except for. Misty. And I think Michael popped on, but he had to go back to work. Right. <clears throat> All right. The next thing I have is this really pretty lusterware bowl. It's a little, like a dish, you know? It's a little dish. And it says, I covered it up of course, like the thrift stores do. Hand painted, Japan, made in Japan. And it has a little bird inside there, if you guys know your markings. So one side has the flowers and one side doesn't. And the flowers have a little bit of wear right in the middle, but I mean, what do you want? I don't even know if it's where, because it's under the glaze. It's just like they, they just sloppily painted it on. Um, it's $12 for this cute little dish, and it's number 25. I love it. It's got the luster inside. And you guys, can you see up here? Hold on. I put some luster wear pieces in my little cabinet. Oh, my little doll fell down that Michael gave me, my frozen Charlotte doll. Mama J. Mama J, you won the dish. It's a pretty big one. It's not like too tiny. I mean, it's not like a cereal bowl or anything, but. So Carrie Vintage Girl 75 says so you can make her a wrench if you need to. Um, I can't do it from here. You'd have to do it from there. Do You'd it. have to click on her name, I think, or her, or her, oh, I don't know if you could do it in the chat, or her picture. 
you might have to do it in like comments. I'm not sure. Or yeah, click on that and see if you, it says like make moderator. Yep, add moderator. Okay, she is okay. now. All right. So I showed this guy like probably a couple months ago and nobody ever snagged him. He is a spaghetti poodle. But I want to say he's like Japan spaghetti, not maybe, not Italy. Let me double check. Because he has a different kind of, I don't know. He has a different kind of spaghetti. You guys might know. But he's a black one. He's red wear. And the only thing is on the side of his bow, there's a little chip right there on the side of his bow. Jane, yes, I saw it coming through on my phone. I saw emails. So, um, yeah, little spaghetti poodle. He is $12 and it's number 33 and it's a bigger one. So it's like a big guy. Lori C. Lori C. That's so funny that I got people interested in like last time, like everyone was like, mm -mm. Maybe they wanted pink and stuff. I'm like, you could put this out like Halloween, like in your, Anytime. yeah. Black goes with everything. Yep. Black is a good color. All right. The next thing I have is, so this was in a sale a few weeks ago as well. I think it's a planter. What did we call this? A planter? You said it was a planter. I'm like, is that a gravy dish? Oh, yeah. My mom was wondering if this was a gravy dish. I'm like, mm, I don't know because, I mean, it, Maybe was at one time, but with all that crazing, I wouldn't use it for food. Oh, he was back. back because they, they're, when you put them in timeout, it's like 30 seconds. <sighs> but now he's going to think it's funny and he's going to keep trying to do it. But anyway, so we have this planter here. Well, I would use it as a planter. It's got a really old chip right there because it's very smooth and it's, the chip is dirty. It's not bright white. But you've got this on one side, and you have this on the other. And these lines, to me, are super deco. Um, it does say made in Japan on the bottom. It's an older piece, as you can tell. It is $10, and it's number 50. Was that right? Number 50? Yeah. And look at the handles. It's like twigs. Joanne Baber. Joanne Baber. Mom says you won number 50. Okay. All right. This is another thing that my mom grabbed. And I think she likes this because my mom likes unicorns. You know you like a unicorn. Yeah, but I wouldn't put them all over my house. No. I no. have one on my shoulder. Yes. She has it. Mom has tattoos. <laughs> so this is a little <coughs> left in carousel horse that's all right missy girl you got a life i've been distracted for a long time so but i'm looking and it looks it looks good hi aaron so the paint is good i just have to wipe it off a little bit it is a left in and it's from 1992 doesn't have a collection name or anything, but it has its has two left in stickers. It is eight dollars for the carousel horse, and it's number thirty nine. Uh, she says tattoos. Mom's cool. <laughs> yeah, mom's got a few tattoos. Three. So, so do I. I said a few, but mom doesn't have any piercings, but I do. My ears are pierced. Other than your ears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone was down. Oh, easy killer. Down for the horse. Nope. That's cool. That's fine. Okay, so these are going to be like an as-is item. You can turn them around or you can display them. I think they're great how they are. They're very like shabby chic. But I'm saying as-is because this has a chunk of paint missing in both spots. And then... Though you can get little stoppers and change them, one of the stoppers is stuck inside, and then you got like one right there. So these are three dollars for the pair, and it's number 37. Maria 
California Thrifter. Maria California Thrifter, you got number 37. All right, the next thing I have is this thing that I have to wipe up. It's this little puppies inside of a little hat. And it's a cute little, I think it's just Japan, not occupied Japan. Oh, you can like barely see the thing, the marking, but it's really cute, but he's very dirty. I gotta clean him off. It's $8 for this figurine. It's like not too giant. And it's um, number 15, so $8 for him. It's got like something there, but that looks like a flaw. He, like it was already there, you know? Randy Heilman. Randy, you on the doggies. Can I have some dip? Go ahead, you have to put it in a separate little dish and then wash your dish. The tiny one, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and let's see. You're welcome. The next thing I have, mom picked these up too. Hold on, let's see what they were called. Mom's picks aren't doing so hot today. <laughs> $19.99, I think it's MBM Bomber or Bamer Studios. So it's this little guy right here. There, I think there was, there's like a whole series of these, but He's sitting there holding, he's got like his clothes are too big. It's like he's got, you know, his daddy's clothes on or something. And then he's got a little box. It's really cute. That's, he's a really cute little guy. So he is $4. He's like a bisque. Nothing's wrong with him. And he's number 49. So just a little cute little guy. Sabrina Reeser. Sabrina Reeser. Reeser? Reeser? R-E-A-S-O-R. Okay. You're new to me, Sabrina, so um, you might want to check back at the beginning of the video for, like, how to play and how to pay and that good stuff. All right. The next thing I have is something, another thing that I didn't want to sell. I always wanted to keep it, but it never got hung up. So I said, you know, it's going then. And it's this. This is like a mosquito or a fly, and it's a wall pocket. I love it. It's like, I don't know, this big. <laughs> so I just love it. It's ceramic. There's a little hole on the back so you can hang it up. I would think it would look great in a, um, like a gallery wall. Um, it does have like a chip right there on the bottom, but when it's hanging, you can't see it. It looks like cicada. Yeah, it might be. Whatever. It's some kind of bug. You want a bug on your wall, this is for you. So it's 20 bucks for this um, little wall pocket, and it's number 31. So he's awesome. I know, Misty, I know. I love this guy. Joanne Baber. Joanne, you won my bug. <laughs> I love him. That's cool. Mom said it's creepy. Well, she likes that cat, but she don't like the bug. That's cool. Mm -mm. You, can, you can keep the cat. <laughs> All right. The next thing I have is actually a pair. Michelle is saying hello. Oh, hi, Michelle. I missed it. I just see people saying hi, Michelle. Um, I have this pair. I don't... I don't know, maybe California pottery, maybe Japan, not sure. The only thing that has, it's like a, it's a little pair of figurines. They're dressed in like 1700s type clothing, a man and a woman. Um, the only marking that's on them is right on the back here. It says like LC and some number. So it's probably like a mold number. Doesn't say anything else really. But just know on the side, like when it was being made, there's that. Because, you know, it's covered by glaze. So when it was probably baked, it did that. But you get the pair, so the boy and the girl, for 15 and it's number 47. And they're like a big size. A nice size. They're not like little figurines. So. Lynn Johnson. 
Lynn Johnson. That's a new person to me too. Oh, I should have did something different with my hair. <laughs> Lynn Johnson, sorry, you won these guys. Number, hold on. Number, I already forgot, 47 for $15. You know who I haven't seen is Miss Shirley Pearl. I haven't seen her in the chat either. But that's okay. Because I haven't been at anyone's anything. So I understand. Alright, the next thing I have is this ladyhead vase planter thing. She does have like a couple of small little issues. Her little bow is broken right there for one that if you were D from Thrill of Thrift and you knew how to mess with clay, you could fix that if you wanted to. Or you could commission D to fix it for you. Yeah, or you can pay. You can ship it to D and have her fix it. You could pay. Um, I'm, not, I'm, all, I'm over here trying to sell her. <laughs> and then right underneath her eyelash, there's like a tiny little chip in the paint there. And then on the back. I don't know if that's in the paint or I just need to wipe that off. I'm not sure. It would could be some, you know, bleh, on it. But that's all I really see. Then other than she needs to be wiped down. She's by Yukago. It says it has her the sticker on there and it says Ceramics Japan. It's 28 for this vase. I'm kind of going off of what I sold my last one for in auction and it is number 1. And the other one, her little eyelash was broke. Her little earring thing was broke. Michelle, a comfy, cozy look. Michelle, you want the lady head base? This doesn't scream your style. But okay, you can have it. It's $28 for the lady head base. Michelle, comfy, cozy living. Ow, my day. Ooh, these are so cute. These are those big eyed owls. Look at the, how sweet they are. Oh, they're so cute. You get a salt and a pepper, so it's not like two peppers or two salts put together. They're made in Korea. Made in Korea sticker down there. They both have stoppers, no chips or cracks or anything. They look really nice. They are $12 for the pair and it's number six. Oh, you always like those? Oh, cool. Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. You won the owls. These are so cute. And if you think about it, um, you don't you know, you don't have to use these for salt and peppers because I use them as figurines, so you get like two for one. That's how I think of it. Oh. Okay. Let's see. All right, I have another Frozen Charlotte doll. This one's in a little bit better shape. It's a little pudgy little guy. He almost has like a Napoleon looking outfit on. <laughs> um, he said Japan, I'm pretty sure. Yep, made in Japan. The other one just said Japan. Um, so that matters for age, but same era. It is $10 for this little guy. And he is number 26. Debbie Gray. Oh, someone said something about, have you tried a decongestant Sudafed for your headache? No, I haven't. I was just trying, um, I took some Excedrin, you know, like a migraine thing. That's all. I'm sorry? Debbie Gray. Debbie Gray. You won, what did I say, Mom? Number 26. Number 26. I wrapped them. Oops. I wrapped it back up, so I don't want to. I don't know. Oh, my lipstick. Ugh, girl's got to have her lipstick. All right. Next thing I have is one of these blue swanky swig glasses. Can you see? There are two little piggies on there. And on the other side, it's like a bear. Oh, someone's at the door. Oh, was it the male lady? Okay, mom's, mom's going to check my mail. So anyways, 
So it's like, um, I don't know, maybe the pig has a toy version of himself and the bear has a toy version of itself. So it's $5 for the little swanky swig glass. And it's number 21. Alex. Yes, ma'am. Do you still want to keep that forward or no? No, I'll, I'll keep it here for now. Yeah, she'll have to change it. Okay. She said she wants to keep it here for now. Okay. Well, what's that? What was the mailman? Was he trying to leave something but wasn't well, sure? Well, he was picking up the box, so he, uh -huh. was, he said he had a bunch of mail for you, but... He said he had a forward on it. I guess it threw him to see you sending out a box. Oh, oh, oh. Is he going to leave the mail then? Um, I'm not sure. Whatever. Live discussions with the mailman. I don't know who won this. Let me see. If anybody won it. it it's probably at the post office itself. Oh, okay. So, I said number 21, Mom. Okay, I see one person on here. Number 21. Let me go up and make sure. Yeah, Teresa Bryant. Teresa Bryant. You got um, number 21. So he said I'll have to just fix that? Yeah. Okay. But I'm sure he had it, all the mail was at the post office, not in his oh. truck. I get you. I get you. All right. The next one that I have is another one of these baseball card boxes. This one's from 1984. Now, it has most of the cards in here, but I can't tell you if, like, special cards are gone because I don't know. So, here, let me just show you kind of what they look like. So, we got, like, all these cards. I'm sure there's, like, rookie cards and stuff. I think it's Jenna's. Yeah. It is $4, and it's number 19. I scribbled the number. Yes, number 19. Number 19. Sabri Sabrina. Reeser? Yeah. Sabrina Reeser, number 19. And then you have Adopt Me Trader. Mm -hmm. Wants to know, can I buy those cards? I'm a collector. They typed and sold instead of the number. Oh. Okay, okay well, here you go. I have, I have another box. Gabriel, can you see that I'm doing a live video? <laughs> Oh, okay. So, yeah. They're talking to them, Mom. Can I help you? No. Can no. You yeah. A little bit, Gabriel. I can't help you. Well, I can't really help you at this second. Okay. okay. I have another box of baseball cards. If you're interested, you have to... Type them type that you have to type the number in if you're if you're interested what are and these then he's going to be talking like okay boomer yeah i don't know so okay but anyway so you you type the number in of items that you want Maybe so you just them. okay well they'll come back number um this is four dollars and it's number 20. So, did I even call if someone won this? I don't even know. Uh, oh, Sabrina, Sabrina Reeser. Yeah. Okay, I think she so got it again. She got this one okay, too. so you got both of those, Sabrina. And it's the same thing. It's like, you know, kind of full, probably has almost all the cards, but I'm not sure if, um, like, rookie cards or whatever those things are. Who knows? I know. <laughs> If the rookie cards and stuff are gone, so I couldn't tell you that. Okay, the next thing I have is another is another um, little figurine, the little boy holding the flowers and the bear. He's really cute. His clothes are too big as well. He is four dollars, and he's number forty-eight. He's by the same company as the other one from nineteen ninety-nine. Sabrina again. Sabrina, you're lucky. Number 48. Okay. 
Did I? No, I didn't show this one. Okay, so I have another swanky swig. Oh, only because Shirley Perez. <laughs> yeah, she is quick. She's got some fast internet. I mean, what can you do, you know? Um, okay, so we have another swanky swig. This one is like the bird and the little birdie there. And then you got the elephant and the little elephant right there. But these are great um, because they're usually so damaged. So you could tell someone took care of these or they're just locked away for a while. But anyways, it's $5 for this guy. And it's number 16. Is there another trolling Kelly, person? Kelly B3. Kelly B3, number 16. I don't think so. Mm. I don't know they're talking about it. All right, let's see. Maybe, I'm not sure who this, for $3. They're saying that the hype boy person is a troll. Okay. Oh, stop meowing. Okay, next thing I have is this cardinal figurine. Got some paint wear there on the tail, but no chips or cracks or anything like that, I don't think. It is $8 and it's number 12. Wait, is that? Nope, that's paint wear. Just some paint loss. Jane Newhouse. Jane Newhouse. You got the Cardinal for $8. Number 12. <sighs> Oh, I'm about to break something. Try and do pay attention and do this at the same time. <laughs> All right, I have another um, frozen Charlotte doll. It's a little boy in a in a suit. And he's got a little, his little hat in his hand. Um, it says "Made in Japan" on the back of him, and his paint is in pretty good shape. He looks like he's rolling his eyes though. Like, you know, he asked the girl out and sh or to dance and she didn't want to. So he's Thanks. like, whatever. Hi, Where am I? Oh, hi Vinny. <laughs> so, yep, he's so cute. He's $10 and he's number 27. Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean. You got the frozen Charlotte little boy. I don't know. What is a frozen boy called? Is he still a Charlotte? Chucky. <laughs> frozen Chucky. Charles. Frozen Charles. Um, okay. Those or piano babies. Hmm. Oh, she said Charles. Huh? Yeah, we think so too. All right. So I have another little bird. This looks like maybe a blue jay. But this one does this, has like right there. I think it's just like the smallest little thing, a little chip thing. Um, these are probably Japan. Oh, and it had right there on the, what is that called? A crest again? Yeah. The top of his head right there. Yeah, Hi, D. Thanks for stopping by. What is trolling? Trolling is when someone just comes in and like says stupid crap or says mean stuff or you know, whatever, that they're just not here or in the live for what the live is. They're just there to cause doo-doo. <laughs> and so they must go. But anyways, this guy is $8 and he's number 13. Kelly B3. You got number 13. <sighs> All right, next item. I like, I like, I was gonna say like and love at the same time. But anyways, it's this beautiful, it's like a, 
I can't even describe the greenish bluish color that it is. It's like ocean. Not like Florida ocean because we don't see nothing like this on this side of the bay. <laughs> um, but this is so pretty, this color green. It is by Fenton. It looks like it has leaves here. It has this like a swirly handle. There's no chips or anything on this thing. It's $22 for the bridal basket and it is number nine. It's just a pretty green blue. Lynn Johnson. Lynn Johnson. You won the Fenton bridal basket for $22, number nine. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll have to go check the P.O. box. Hi, Brianna. I was going to go check it yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to. All right, I have one more Frozen Charlotte doll. And this one is a little boy, I think. Um, has He has like a little sailor suit on and a little hat, and he's got a little boat in his hand. Oh. He's cute. This one just says Japan instead of made in Japan. He looks like Spanky. Oh, does he? From Little Rascals. Looks like the Spanky. old school one. Yeah, the old one. Um, he's $10, and he's number 29. He's cute. <laughs> he looks like he's got a lazy eye. Southern mermaid. He's got a lazy eye. <laughs> Southern mermaid, you won number 29. And I know because you like nautical stuff. You won number 29. $10. Quite a few people wanted that. Oh, oh well, he was cute. Yeah, he looked like Spain. <laughs> The next thing I have is this gorgeous cobalt vase here. It looks like it was hand done. Like the bottom has a really smoothed down pontiel there. And then these look like they were like pressed into place. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It's $18 and it's number 30. It's a not too huge and it's a nice weight. It doesn't feel like you know, a cheap piece of glass. Connie Cable. Connie Cable. I don't even see that. Oh, there you are. I've got the good internet today. <laughs> <laughs> Connie Cable, you won number 30 for 18. I'm going to put you. Sit right there. All right. What? Does it have what? Frozen marked on the bottom. Never heard of them until Misty. You mean the Frozen Charlotte dolls? No, that's just their name. That's just what they're called. Um, okay, the next, I have another Spanky Swig, but this one's a little different. This is actually Davy Crockett. It shows a scene there of like natives. You see in like a boat there, or a little canoe type thing. And then you got like Davy back here, if you can see that. And then it says Davy Crockett, Pioneer Hero, 1786 to 1856 or 36, something like that. It's kind of coming off. Not coming off, but like it was sloppily done on there. But these used to have like sour cream and stuff like that in them. It is $5 for the glass and it's number 17. So if you guys like those kinds of Old West stories and stuff, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Nothing on Davy Crockett? No. No? Okay. I thought Davy was cool. Hmm. Fine. <laughs> All right. Next item we have is this set here of what Bianca would say cottage core, which I think is like, oh, thank you, Vinny. <laughs> thank you. Which I think is like our, what we know is like shabby chic. <laughs> but these little salt and pepper shakers, um, they are, what was that name again? They're signed Nadine on the bottom. So at some point, Nadine, 
made this salt and pepper shaker set. They don't have any stoppers or anything. These are another one of my mom's finds. The pear, I mean, they're in good shape. There's a little bit of crazing and the gold's all nice. The pair of them are 10 bucks and it's number 38 for these little shakers. Oh, that's okay, Vinny. Jane Newhouse. Jane Newhouse. You got number 38. That makes mom happy because she was saying that no one was liking her stuff this yeah, time. The picks aren't doing too well yeah. this time. Yeah. All right. Next thing I have was this. I love this. I, he, what was he? Uh, people were saying like a French bulldog. All right. So we have some people in here. You have some trolls. Chantilly Chandra, does that name sound familiar? Yeah, I've bought from her before. Okay, what about... Or not bought from her, she's bought from me. Ricky Donald. I don't know, that doesn't sound familiar. Why are they being bad? Well, I'm not sure with the comments, if it's... I don't know. Okay. Like the one says, I thought Charlotte froze. Oh no, they're talking about frozen Charlotte dolls. They're talking about where that name came from. Oh, okay. Remember I was telling you the story of the little girl that froze in the snow on the way to the like Christmas party because okay. she didn't want to wear her jacket and that's where they got the name from. They're all saying Boston Terrier on that dog. Okay, whatever. Boston Terrier. <laughs> <laughs> so it has its mark. It is Moriyama made in Japan. So ID. Huh? Oh, my mom said hello. So that mark right there puts this around like the 1930s, this planter. But just know that he is getting the starts of some cracks down his body. I can't like, you can't, I don't know, you can't feel, the, you, like if you ran your fingernail over and pressed it, you can, but like touching it, you can't, if that makes any sense. But he's really neat and he does have crazing and stuff. He is $15 or she, and it's number five for this guy, girl, whoever. Randy Heilman. Randy Heilman. You won the dog that I really liked. For 15. All right, next little guy I have. This is by Norlands um, Japan, has the original sticker on it. It does have a little bit of paint wear, but it's that airbrushed paint for these figurines. So it has some wear right there. But no chips or cracks. It doesn't have crazing or anything. Just a little bit of paint wear on his side of his leg. So this is $9 for this guy, and it's number 34. Vintage Thrifted Treasures. Vintage Thrifted Treasures. Um, no, she doesn't have any more earrings this time. Not this time. I think she brought them all that day, and I think they all sold. All right, the next thing I have is a moose mug, and it's um, from Austria. So we have this really cool moose mug, and it's got some, like, I don't know what was in there at one time. It's got the startings of, and this is Austria, so it is older, of like gonna crack type of thing. But, you know, if I was almost 100, I'd be cracking too. <laughs> so yeah, this is an Austria one. But the paint is really nice. It is $12 and it's number 32. Sue Terwilliger. Sue Terwilliger. I think that's the name that Misty can never say, her last name. <laughs> you won. Is it not a creamer? Or it could be. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know why I said coffee mug. Probably because it has a handle. But because of this, you know, you wouldn't. Um, it. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to put your mouth on it. But you get the idea. <laughs> Okay. See the brown bowl. 
Oh, that is in another the box out there of the stuff that wasn't supposed to be in the sale and it got wrapped in a bag. I might have to go help my mom a second. She's looking for something. Um, the next thing I have is this really nice set of pottery mugs. See, they're really nice with the anchors and the stars on them. They're really, really nice. This, for the set, it's $12, and it's number 36. I think I have Sharpie all over my finger now. Yeah. So, okay, thank you. I think someone called it. Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley, you got my mugs that I liked. <laughs> I was going to put them on eBay, but eBay has been unfortunately at the wayside right now next item I have oh you guys are gonna love these I have this little bag of all these bone china baby deer well not all babies but let me show you they don't have any broken legs they don't have any broken antlers or anything. We got that one and it says high style bone china by Bridge Japan on the back. Then we got this little guy. These will be cute in Christmas displays and these are all like, you know, like porcelain, this little guy. Oh good, I'm glad. And then here's one of them bent down. And this is probably a dad, a Papa Deer. Same company by Bridge or something. And then we have. Somebody said super cute. <laughs> then we have this one. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six of them. It's, and they're all bone china. They're not missing any pieces or anything. And let's hope they make it in one piece as well. Since the post office wants to play football with boxes these days. <laughs> it's number 18 and they're $30 for the lot. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them in here. Connie Cable. Ooh, a lot of people that. Who, Connie Cable? Yep. Connie Cable, you got number 18, all these deer for 30. Oh wait, let me, I don't trust this. That's why these were like separately in the garage. I've had them all this time and watch me break it. All right, the next thing I have, this is fantastic. Look at this bowl. Look at the glaze and it has like these rope handles. This is actually Brown's Pottery um, from, I think it's Arden, North Carolina. And there's a lot of pieces on line from this um, company, but there's not a lot of this like purpley glaze. It's a lot of brown and stuff, but it's gorgeous. And there's no crazing or anything, so you could actually use it if you wanted to. You can set it on display if you wanted to. It's $20 for this piece of pottery. And it's number seven. And it's a bigger bowl. Like, see, it's like almost like my noggin. <laughs> but I love the glaze. The glaze is what attracted me for sure. Michelle Gomez. Michelle Gomez. You want number seven for $20. I love that bowl. All right. Next is one of mom's finds. Okay, we're <laughs> I, I have to say it. <laughs> So I was like, oh, maybe this is a wall cat. And she's like, cats don't climb walls. And I'm like, these cats around here climb every surface they can. So it's a, it's a high thrift kitten. Um, so I'm like, it's a wall cat. But she says it's not. Someone made it. It's just a little, I mean, it's not little. It's a bigger cat. There's no chips or anything like that. Tree climber. That sounds better. Tree climber. Yeah, there you go. Tree climber. Um, it's um, $10 for the cat, and it's number three. Look at that face. <laughs> Looks like a baby crawl. Oh, yeah. Like a baby cat. 
Or he's going to sneak up on a lizard or something. CCC? CCC. You won number three for $10. All right, I ran out of room in my box. I just have, um, I think so. I have a, a few more things here. Sarah says he looks so serious. That's because he's ready to pounce. Yeah. These are like a favorite of mine. It, wait, is Fatbird finds in the house? I don't think I saw Fatbirds. Mom was like, oh, they would love these. Oh my gosh, look at these bird shakers i love these birds hold on they got there's the shaker part on their necks right there and they got stoppers but they look really annoyed but they're fabulous and they're chubby little things these are for the set and like like I was saying to my mom, I would use them as figurines, not salt and pepper shakers. Um, so for the set, it's 15 and it's number 45. Connie Cable. Connie Cable. You won my lovely birds. I love these birds. You won, um, what's, what did I say? Number 45. All right, next thing I have is a made in Western Germany seashell. Like it's a really cool what? Antique Nomad says that bird finds me. It says like yeah, that's what you said. said. <laughs> Hi George. Um, is this made in Western Germany? It's is an ashtray. That's what I figure anyway because of all these little things here. But the glaze is great. I love the glaze there. Um, it says right there on the back. Western Germany and it has a number. So this tray, you could trinket dish, whatever you want to use it for, is twelve dollars and it's number twenty-two. <sighs> Sharon Olson. Sharon Olson. You got the Germany seashell. I wouldn't use it as an ashtray. I would. Like, that would be cute. Like a little just trinket dish. The next thing I have, I need to wipe this down as well. But it's another little Coca-Cola tray. And these are from the 90s. So, technically vintage. But not like the old original or anything. But they would look cute on like a you know, a table and you can have like your salt and peppers and stuff in there if you wanted. It's $8 and it's number 41. The bottom does have some wear from like being set on a shelf and stuff. Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. You won number 41. See, someone likes your stuff, mom. All right, next thing I have is this set, I don't know if anybody remembers this set. This set is by Mikasa and it's the Galleria collection. It's made in Japan and it has, um, what were these? Tul tulips, calla lilies? Calla lilies, I think. Calla lilies on there. And you get the creamer and the, whoops, I just showed my Goodwill sticker. <laughs> and the um, salt and pepper shakers. They are made in Japan. They have their stoppers and they come out okay. Yeah, sometimes I can't get them out. So, anyways, you get the creamer and, well, it says, it's called Opus Black. So, maybe that's the name of the collection. But you get both of them together, the set, for 12 bucks, and it's number 24. So, the creamer has the name of it on there, but not the salt and peppers. They just say Japan. Japan and Goodwill. CCC. CCC. You like number 24? You know what I see people do is they take these and they pour wax and they make their own candles and they use these little things here to make candles. All right, the next thing I have, this guy. 
What did I? Oh, okay. He's a hillbilly. Instead of a hobo, he looks they, like a hillbilly. He does He's look like. Pipe. Yeah, he does look. I think that's that's what they called him on eBay. Was a hobo. That's why I said that yesterday. But he's a really cool um, ashtray. Did I just say ashtray? Yeah. Ash tray. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I think you would put your like your the cigarettes out there. Maybe he would hold them right here. <laughs> Everyone's laughing at me. Sorry. Um, he does have a little bit of paint wear on his hat. That's just yellow. Like that's actual the paint style, but some of the little, there's some little paint wear on him, a little bit. Um, he's really cool. They had him listed as like rare online, selling for about 40 bucks. I have him for 20 and he's number two. But I don't see any chips or cracks or crazy or just the little paint wear on his hat. But I thought he was awesome. His face is great. Look at this, he's got lashes. Jane Lou. Jane Newhouse, you won this guy. I think I think you're lucky. He's cool, and he looks like he's standing by like an outhouse, and he's got probably some moonshine right there. So he's yes, cool. He says he's a hillbilly. Yep, number twenty. Oh wait, no, number, number two. two for twenty. Next thing I have is a piece of a bit more modern ironstone, um, but nevertheless still ironstone. My stomach is growling. It is Royal, Royal Staffordshire, Staffordshire. I forget my friend in the UK told me how to say it and I don't remember. It's Liberty Ironstone, J&G Meekin, which goes back, like way back, making ironstone. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the pattern's called Wicker and it's like a chocolate pot or a coffee pot. It's $20 for this one. It's number eight. I just have to clean it up, but there's no chips or cracks. There's not even crazing, so it's still like usable if you really wanted to use it instead of just decorate with it. But I think that would be great for fall. So, we got that guy. On to the next thing. I have three things left and then we're done. Unless you wanna reshow the other stuff. From the beginning. Oh, I think it was like the horse. Usually I set them in a different pile. Yeah, there's only, there's four things. <coughs> All right, the next thing I have is this like very mid-century McCoy um, vase. I was gonna say planter. Vase, it's, you know, pottery, of course, it's McCoy. And the, the marking that's on the bottom, it's like you have to turn it just right in the light and the kind of marking that's on there dates it to about the 19, late 1950s, 60s. So it's McCoy USA. It's $14 for this one. And I think my tape ripped. I think it number was number 10. 10. So this mid-century, it's like a speckly brown vase. Kelly B3. Kelly B3, you won the McCoy vase for $14. Next item I have, this girl looks like a little girl bellhop, like a, what'd you say, an elevator girl you said? Yeah. And she also looks like a frozen Charlotte doll, and it's also like a little vase. <coughs> so it's really cool, and her paint is in really great shape. She's pretty awesome. I didn't see like the markings on her or anything. Usually it's stamped in there, but she's in really good shape. So, and she's pretty big. I have her for 15 and she's number 11. Look at her little cheeky face. And her little hair bows. Connie Cable. Connie Cable, you won number 11 for 15. Oh, she's Japan, yeah. I just don't see it stamped on here, but I'm pretty sure she is. And then I have one last thing other than, I don't remember what didn't sell. I have it marked. Okay. So the last thing I have is this Left in Exclusives um, Japan, I think it's a Dove. 
for any of you guys that like doves. And it's got like the airbrushed look, which is, I like that. I like when I see the, huh? That's a beautiful bird. Yeah. I like when I see um, the roosters with the airbrush paint, but I don't know. I really like it. It's $10 for this figurine. It still has the stuff on the, the, the bottom piece. That's what I need in my life. That's definitely, that's what the dove is. Ten dollars, number fourteen for this guy. We looked him over, and I don't see anything like not even paint wear. Other than I need to wipe him off. Yoso boho rescue treasures. You're new to me. Yos yoso boho. Yoso boho rescue treasures. Rescue treasures. Okay, you got number fourteen for ten dollars. Okay. Make sure you watch the beginning of the video because you're not familiar to me to see the items, um, or not to see the items, to see how to pay and stuff. Okay, so you got the Coke tin. So, okay, one second, I'll reshow a couple of the things. Uh, the carousel horse and the pheasant. Okay. And then the coffee pot and the Davy Crockett swanky swig. Okay, so the things that weren't spoken for, I'll reshow and then we'll be done. So we have the Davy Crockett um, Swanky Swig glass. So these are from like the mid-century and they would put sour cream or cheese or whatever in them. Um, your hair is so long. Yeah, it is really long. It's a mop. Uh, so this one was number 17 and it was $5 if anyone's interested in the Davy Crockett Swanky Swig glass. Has its, his little information right there on the front still nothing for that <laughs> then the, the other item i had was this coca-cola tin that was from the 90s and it has you know like all the vintage little pictures on it it's in good shape so and it says 1992 so this was eight dollars for this tin and it was number 40. So that was one thing. Tidbits and trinkets. Tidbits and trinkets. You get number 40 for $8. The next thing I have is an Avon pheasant decanter. So it's in really good shape. Usually their paint and stuff is kind of yucky. Um, but this one's in really good shape. It's $8 for the decanter. So it's cool if you collect birds or something. And it's number 35. Tidbits and Trinkets says it's L. Hmm? Tidbits and Trinkets says it's L. Thanks. E-L-L-E-L. -L -E -L. Oh. Okay, Lynn Johnson wants number 35. Lynn Johnson. Nice to see you have to go. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, that is her email, L. I remember now. <laughs> but usually she just, it says Marielle or Stacy or whatever, not tidbits and trinkets. The last, oh, no, I have two items. So then we had the left, left in carousel horse that mom found. Does it go up? No, it doesn't. Okay, it's left in 1992. It's $8 and it's number 39. But it, I just have to wipe it off, but it's in good shape. Bye, George. Jane Newhouse. Jane Newhouse. You like the carousel horse for number 30? No, for number 39. Number 39 for $8. And then the last thing was still the, the, the iron stone. Um chocolate pot coffee pot um i would do this one i mean i would i guess 15 if anyone wanted it and it's number eight for this one it's like the wicker pattern and it's j and g meek and ironstone <sighs> so yeah if anyone was interested in this 15 number eight 
and that is it. That is everything I have for my sale today, you guys. I appreciate you guys stopping by, even though I don't, didn't advertise this week or last week. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you guys um, hitting that notification bell so you know when, you, when I get on here and go live. Um, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Com and hit the thumbs up. Yeah, and hit the thumb up, thumbs up button because that helps. Leave a comment. Um, don't forget, email me with the items that you won. Make sure you leave your PayPal information, your address, if your like YouTube name is different than your PayPal and your real name, like make sure you tell me who you are. Um, I get lots of emails that say, I won this, but I don't have an address, so it doesn't work out. But anyways, make sure you do that. And I appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye.